Welcome back to the classroom. My name is Mr. Wong, and today we'll be looking at the 2018 Victorian Physics paper, question 8. Uh, this is to look at module 2, inquiry question number 2, uh, which is all about um, energy, acceleration, and forces. We have two blocks, A of mass 4 kilograms, so 4 kilograms here. We have B with 1 kg mass and they are being pushed to the right on a smooth frictionless surface by a 40 newton force as shown in figure 10. So in question A it says calculate the magnitude of the force on block B so that's block B uh, by block A and show your work okay so what we can say firstly is this uh, these two objects, A and B, are acting as if it was one uh, solid block. So if I drew that as one solid block, A, B, we can see it as if the object is a 5 kilogram mass being pushed at 40 newtons. Okay, so what I need to firstly work out is what is the net acceleration the two blocks are experiencing, and then... So I'll just write that down. I need to find what is the net acceleration. And then, knowing that net acceleration, I can work out what's the amount of force that A is being pushed at onto B and how much force is B then going to push back on or being pushed forward by. So that's the way I'll work it out. So first things first, I'll come down here to the question. I need to find the net acceleration. So F net equals to the mass A plus B and the net acceleration. The net force is 40. The net mass is 5 kilograms multiplied by our net acceleration. So our net acceleration in this case is 8 meters per second squared. That's quite fast actually. So there's that. Okay, uh, the next question, it says calculate the, the, I'll say that again, calculate the magnitude of the force on block B by block A. So we need to find the overall force that block B is experiencing at this point in time. And so to speak, the amount of force that block B is experiencing to be pushed this way, that is what block A is applying to it. Block A is applying that amount of force to push block B uh, at 8 meters per second squared, okay? So what we can say is the force uh, on B by A is again F or F equals MA kind of scenario, M being the mass of B multiplied by the net acceleration. So 1 times 8, and so we can actually say uh, a has applied 8 newtons of force on to B. That's how you do that question there. Next question. Now, this question has changed a little bit. It says state the magnitude and the direction of the force on block A by block B. Okay, so slightly different. Question A is just asking for magnitude. Question B is asking for magnitude and force. Okay. Okay, so in this one, uh, obviously the one difference is one says calculate, one says state. What that probably implies to you already is we probably already know the magnitude. In this case, it's actually 8 newtons. And the direction, obviously, we need to explain. Let's use the chart up here to do that explanation. I'll use a different color as well. So, as I previously stated, on block B, we are pushing it at 8 newtons of force. Okay, so that means uh, block A is pushing it at 8 newtons of force in order to make it move at 8 newtons or in order to apply 8 newtons of force to make it have an acceleration of 8 meters per second squared. I think that's pretty clear now. Now, the point of which we need to talk about is this particular boundary here. And this is obviously two boundaries. This is where Newton's third law of motion can actually come into play. 
Now, if I'm pushing on an object at eight newtons or eight newtons of force, then according to Newton's second or third law of motion, we get an equal but opposite reaction force. So that means B is going to push back onto A at 8 newtons of force as well, but obviously this 8 newtons of force is in the opposing direction. So I think we already have our answer. Okay, so block A, so um, block B pushes on block A. at uh, 8 newtons left, okay? So that's what we have. We can also give a slight reasoning. Uh, so this is according, this obeys Newton's second law of motion, or third law of motion, sorry, keep saying the wrong way around. as block A applies 8 newtons to the right, block B will push back at the same magnitude but in the opposite direction. Okay, and so that's how you respond to the two questions that we have here. Remember, this was originally looking at two blocks uh, coming into contact with each other. And we were trying to work out the amount of force that A applied onto B and B applied onto A. So we used two laws of Newton's uh, to solve for problem A. We used the second law, F equals MA, to solve for the value for force. And then to understand uh, what type of force was happening between the two blocks, we applied Newton's third law of motion. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.